I'm going to share with you this video inside it before I head on off to sleep tonight. And the reason being is, this is something I think about on a day-to-day -day basis, and I've totally surrendered to. It's something that really makes me treasure life, and makes me want to squeeze every single drop. Because back in my story, let's say, a decade ago, I was never driven. I never believed in myself for that matter. Going through years upon years of bullying, I never thought I was worthy of anything. And I remember the shifting for, point for me when I was reminded of this message was when I woke up on New Year's morning, you may know this story. I'd gone out night before, I drank a lot of alcohol with my friends and I immediately ran to the toilet to start being sick. And as you can imagine, when you drank a lot of alcohol, you just constantly just head down the toilet bowl, just puking up everything I drank night before. I remember it just was just non-stop, just coming out and beads of sweat dripping to my forehead, my stomach was churning, I felt terrible. I remember thinking that moment, why not I listen to something long, slow and boring and maybe I can fall asleep. And that's when I decided to just grab my laptop, type in presentation, hoping that I'll fall asleep. And I came across a video that was called Stanford Commencement Address by somebody called Steve Jobs that I didn't have a clue who he was at the time. I just saw that it was like 16 minutes long. So I thought, wow, this looks really boring. So I clicked on it. And it's weird because little did I know the message would land so deep. I'd never forget what he said and remind me of. It was around midway point how Steve shared how every single morning he would look in the mirror and he would ask himself, if today was the last day of my life, would I want to do what I'm about to do today? When I heard that message that morning, something really struck deep in me. Because I looked in the mirror and I couldn't even recognize the person I'd become. Growing up as a shy boy from South South Korea, I just wanted the best for my mum in terms of being able to provide her for the things that she wanted. But having gone through all the bullying I went through in middle school, I somehow managed to convince myself that hanging around with the bullies would be a better idea. And I became the bully. And I came, became the people who'd hang around in gangs, commit crime. I look in the mirror and I, nobody was looking back at that morning. I couldn't recognize the person I'd become. And I remember after watching that video, I began to reflect in terms of what I've really wanted out of life. One of the things I was thinking about was being at the end of it all. Imagine being at your funeral, being on your deathbed. Think about who would be there. Think about what you would want them to say. This was what I was visioning. And one of the things I was running from my mind was I wanted the people around me, my loved ones and family to say, Tim was a warm hearted guy who cared, who loved, who made a difference. And yet that was not a single bit of truth in terms of what was happening in that moment. And it was this very realization how what the life I wanted in terms of the legacy was so different to how I was living every single day. You see inside it, I want you to realize so many people on this planet today, they never truly live because they take every single day for granted. Everything you call life, if you really think about it, is going to end. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be next year. Have you really begun to really think about that for a moment? How everything, all of the stress, all the worries, all of the good, all of the bad, is all gonna end one day. And so when you are being buried one day, when you're died, when you've died, when you've gone through all of the things that you've gone through, when your kids are sprinkling your ashes all over the beach, how do you want to be remembered? 
Because when you realize that truth inside it, you realize there is nothing to lose. And there is a sense of urgency to make your dreams a reality. Yes, it's hard. Yes, there will be obstacles. Yes, there'll be problems. Yes, there will be everything. But then, when you rather squeeze every single drop while she's still in the movie called My Life. Because for me, I want to be walking out of the cinema of my life one day, saying to myself, wow, I've experienced both the up, both the down. I've experienced all of the craziness. I've went through hell. I went through the drug addictions. I've worked as a toilet cleaner, but you know what? I'm glad I made experience of my life. I'm glad I did whatever it took and I'm glad I've also helped the people around me, my loved ones. So as I leave you today inside there, think about how you really want to be remembered. Because sometimes we just need this reminder that people die, death is always around the corner. In fact, I'm going to Tokyo next month and we recently had a news from my mum that her brother has now been diagnosed with terminal cancer with less than a month to live meaning whilst we're in Tokyo my mum will be going to go visit her brother for the final time time is limited and as Steve Jobs says this is why you should never waste your life living someone else's life quite a deep video, different video today inside of it. I just want to share with you some deep reflections that I go through on a day-to-day -day basis. And something that keeps me driven, keeps me motivated. And something I believe that you got to hear. Thank you so much for tuning in, Sider. And I can't wait to share with you on Saturday, this upcoming Saturday at 4 p.m. London time. In regards to the, the shifts I had to make the decade ago, it was just, it's gonna be such a deep class, I can tell you. If you found today's video deep, it's gonna be very deep. If you've not yet registered, it's still not too late, remember. Um, all you have to do, I'll put a link here, or you can follow the link in the uh, the card above if you're checking this video out on YouTube. Thank you inside for tuning in, and thank you for being part of this journey that we call life. And what I do is fulfilling my life's mission, and this is what I'm willing to die for as I believe the traditional education system is so flawed and it's my mission to change and transform the world before my time comes. So thank you for the support. And as always, Insider, follow your heart, my friend, and take action. And go live the life you're truly born to live. I'll see you very, very soon. Take care.